I can't think of anything more unpleasant than going to a convenience store and having to buy razor blades. Like I would, I would rather let my razor blade go dull than to have to go and have this guy unlock a cabinet and pay this exorbitant amount of money for a razor blade. But along comes Harry's and Jeff Rader and they completely change the game. This guy's taking on two major companies that have ruled that industry for the last 100 years. They made it more convenient and much more affordable to shave. Why yeah. on earth would you want to get involved in the razor blade business? So it started with a customer pain point that um, Andy, my co-founder, had. Mm -hmm. um, he went to a drugstore. He was late at night. He waited for 10 minutes until he could find someone to unlock the case where the razors were being held, yeah, right. which he wasn't super psyched about. And I was looking at his packaging and it didn't really appeal to him as a kind of modern guy. And right. like, man, we gotta be able to do this better. We felt like we could deliver them an amazing product mm -hmm. um, and an experience that was easier for them um, and do it at a really affordable price. Yeah, but what a scary notion, right? Because there are two, right, two major players in the industry. We just want to provide guys with choice. Right. I mean, for the longest time, most people haven't had a lot of choice. And for us, if they want to choose to use the brands they're currently using because they love them, great. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't want to in any way disrupt your life, but... But give them another option. Yeah. So how do you differ from that Dollar Shave Club guy there? I mean, I think it starts with us making our own product. Um, I mean, the fact that we now own this factory and can make a product that we yeah, think is just right. the best in the world, like, matters a lot. So you recently purchased a German company. Yeah. What I, what I thought was interesting, it's a 93-year-old company. It is. To start, why we acquired the factory is be, to st starts with the fact that razors are really hard to make. And that happens through a custom process that is sort of highly proprietary that only a couple people in the world actually have any sense for how to do. That's amazing to me. Yeah, it's, it goes back it, to- you, you, When you think about a razor, it just feels so simple. I, I mean, know. you look at the product, it's I simple. Know. But if you think, think about a knife, there's tremendous craftsmanship that goes into making a very sharp knife. Right. And the same thing applies to a razor blade, except it's much smaller. Yeah. And you have to do it millions and millions and millions of times over and over again to make them in a way that's repeatable. And so there's only a couple companies in the world that can do that. And this company in Germany has a 94-year-old legacy of making some of the best blades in the world. I want to switch gears and sort of closing out, talk about the fact that you guys have been involved in, in disrupting a couple of industries here. Yeah, it wasn't like we sat down in like a conference room and we listed out all right. of the industries that it we could disrupt. It was more serendipitous, right? It was way like more when serendipitous. Andy called you and said, hey. Yeah, Andy was in a drugstore and had a bad experience. And for me, I hear the, when I hear these ideas, it was never a question about whether I should do it. I just had to do it. Yeah. Um, I stopped what, sleeping at night. You know it's right. Yeah. There's a better way to There's do it. There's a better this. way. And then passion takes over. And right? then passion takes over. Yeah. And and it's never been about, you know, should I do this or not do this for me? I just had to go do it. Yeah, you knew you had to do it. I was leaving parties with friends to go back home and research razor blades. Right. And it was something that I just had to do. Um, yeah. and, and that's when you just know it's the, it's the right yeah, thing to do. Yeah, because starting a company is not easy. It's really hard. And it takes a lot of time, a tremendous amount of personal investment. And so if it's something that you're passionate about, it's completely worth it because then it doesn't feel like work. Yeah, I want to thank cool. you, man. So it was so good to see you. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. This was great. That's awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Cool. Good to thank see you. Man. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you, everybody.